Good morning. This is October 13, 2024. Uh, in Zone 8B, no, Zone 8A, uh, North Carolina right now. It used to be Zone 7B, but now it's just changed to Zone 8A, which the temperature probably going to drop down to um, maybe 10 degrees. Last year it did drop down to below. Two years ago it dropped down to two to a single digit briefly, but most of the time it's between like mid twenties and in the twenties. Um, sometimes it will go down to like ten degrees, and rarely it will go down to single digit. But I am uh, spend. I have been prepping these uh, anonas in sour soft in some of those tropical plants like a grass jelly plant right there to go inside uh, and those are the two couple um, uh, new kumquat plant that I just bought um, kumquat can can get down to maybe like in the 20s I'm thinking maybe planting them in the ground in the future at some point uh, not really sure yet um, maybe I'll get a couple of extra before I can plant down and uh, to make sure I still have one if one die if they you know stay in the ground and die but uh, I start to have too many anonas and sugar apples and, and sour soft from seedlings so I can't really bring them all in I mean I don't even have enough pot to uh, carry them in I put them in my living room and just leave them there I don't have a greenhouse or anything like that I mean not living room but like one of those a formal dining room um, so as I'm doing this this year I'm trying something new I am not going to take all of them in uh, except uh, just these few and um, I'm gonna try something new. I'm gonna plant them in the ground and see if I can protect them over this winter and over the years to see if they are doing much better in the ground. I'd expect they're gonna you know, burn and die down a little bit but at least the roots will sprout back and see how it goes uh, since I have so many to test out. So I have um, three Australian uh, anonas from seed so I'm gonna keep two this one and that one in the house and then I have so many of these anonas that I sprouted from seed regular Vietnamese anonas um, sugar apples and they're I mean I, I have to put them all the seeds are very easy to grow and it took me about three years to get fruit three completely uh, three complete growth seasons for them to start their fruit on the fourth year maybe third year I can remember but um, I had to put two in the pot, three in the pot, I mean, it's like, they're gonna get so big. So I got two in here, one in there has a really good thick trunk, and one over there. Uh, so I have maybe four, I'm gonna be bringing it in, ha in the house. And this sour sap tree, it hasn't fruit yet, but I'm afraid if I put it in the ground, it's gonna die. So next year, I'm gonna have some new plan for it. I send these are the ones that I am going to plant in the ground. Uh, these are just a regular anona and I have one in here. So I'm gonna plant these three in, they have pretty good. They may be like a little bit thicker than the pencil size, maybe half an inch. So, so they all look pretty, pretty similar. But this guy over here is an Australian um, anona and um, I also got them from seed. One time I bought a bunch of fruit and, you know, they came up. The, the, the fruits are big, but they are not good. I mean, they, it was really bad, like a whole box. I mean, 200 bucks. And I got a bunch of seed, but not a, not a lot of them sprouted. So I only have three. This one's not very good. It's not doing well, but it's stuck with all of these hot pepper. And, um this uh, gooseberry so I'm going to uh, put that in the ground because it's not very good um, but I don't know maybe that's not a good thing to put in the ground either but we'll see I'm gonna plant that in the ground and protect it this winter and see if um, 
how it goes. So, and then let me go over here. Uh, my water spinach is out of the season, in the season. So this uh, is the cherimoy. I'm not really sure what that is, but somebody on eBay saying like it's it's a sugar apple and some sort of I don't know, but the leaves look like a, a cherry moya to me. And I've heard, I don't even know what variety, but um, it's been growing pretty strongly. And then has pretty nice trunk, maybe like an inch, an inch and a half right here. So I planted down like a couple of weeks ago and it's going to stay in the ground with no protection or very little. So out here, I planted the Anona, the Vietnamese sugar apple, yesterday, uh, or two days ago. It was uh, maybe Friday or Saturday. Today's Sunday. And uh, like you can see in a pot, it has <laughs> two to three, and and so I just stick a whole pot in there, and um, well, it's been getting down to like low 40s, so the leaves are still good. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put a watch on these this year and see how they they um, react or the, how they do. And, and, you know, I'm going to put those more of those along here and maybe protect them with some um, protection and, and we'll, we'll see what happens. So we'll, we'll get these in the ground and we'll get you a quick update and uh, we'll be right back. All right, they're in the ground. These are the uh, regular Vietnamese Anonas, Vietnamese sugar apple. Uh, <laughs> I'm just gonna stick them all in as is and we'll figure it out later. I know eventually the persimmon's gonna be overgrown, or, you know, overshading this or something. We'll figure this out later, but right now I just need to be in the ground because the time um, I don't have, um, I'm running out of time and I need to go get some um, protection for them. Uh, does this mean later I need to dig them out, thin them out, or uh, move them? You know, we'll figure it out next year. Right now, I just need to get a couple of things to, to cover them up. If this works, I might just like move them around the yard. Um, so. There are temporary, kind of temporary right there, and eventually I might have to move them. I plan to keep them small so it's easy for me to maintain, but that's the goal. That's the, the thought. And this is a tiny little uh, Australian one, this right here by itself. Uh, if these work, I might either move them over there, two of them, thin them out, or put more out later on. All right, that's the wrap. I will uh, update you later on after I put the um, insulation on and um, follow up. Maybe in the spring and maybe next year we'll see what happens. Wish me luck. Have a good day. Bye.